Problem 2 asks us to display the values of the zip code column using the dollar sign notation. First I need to put the name of the data frame. I'll say schools data df and then I'll put a dollar sign and to specify the columns here I need to use periods and it's showing me here the columns so that I can actually just click on them. If I click run down in the console window, I can see the values in the zip code column. Let's try using the tibble and see what happens. As you can see, if I put the space in here, it doesn't work. In order to get the space to work, I have to put in a backspace surrounding the column name. Now it works for the tibble as well.